What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. I'm here with my brother, Ooch. And I'm here with the homie, Kai. And we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? What's going on, folks? Back with another banger episode 41, Full Power Podcast. We're past the 40 mark. We're on our way to 50. So, you know, uh, last week, like I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the episode... We were not going to have uh, the chance to do the review of the latest chapter that finally just came out, chapter 80 for Dragon Ball Super. And uh, pretty much we're going to pretty much dedicate this episode for that. So without further ado, brother, how you doing today, sir? Chilling, chilling. Good vibes. Can't complain. <laughs> Word, can't complain. Kai, what's going on with you, bang? I, I also can't complain. <laughs> Word, right? Yeah, that's that's good. No complaints. We can cross the board. I know we do have a couple of uh, comments to go over as well, so we can look forward to that. And then, uh, yeah, but pretty much, I, I imagine the majority of this episode is just going to be dedicated to that uh, super chapter which just came out. And again, that's chapter 80. Damn, we're 20 chapters away. It's a, it's, it's a monthly, so, you know, it'll be another few years until we actually get to a chapter 100. But I can say before we go into this, I really feel like they are coming up on the on wrapping this story up. I think. Uh, I've thought it before, but I'm not sure. Yeah. So I mean, it's. What do you mean by story? Yeah. Like the arc or. Like... Yeah. Yeah. Like the way uh... the way it's uh. The way it feels right now it feels very uh like like it's kind of in its wrapping up like it's getting towards the wrap-up part i feel like but we shall see but um yeah so without further ado guys is going to go right into this uh chapter review now of course if you were watching or you coming from my reaction which is the latest thing that did drop on my on the main channel um you know i had some some comparisons to make all right but i'm gonna we'll get to we'll get to those we'll get to those things i will also say this is another chapter where they pulled some shit that i was not expecting i can say that right now so so yeah so pretty much they're picking up where they left off uh granola versus gas they're kind of going back and forth gas is like you know trying to come after him a bunch of different types of offense maneuvers he's shooting laser beams out of his eyes granola's dodging them like granola even and i don't know if he was doing this before but my man is literally uh taking control of destroyed rocks that gas is kicking and like doing some freaking like explosion type shit with his hands like throwing the rocks towards towards gas and whatnot and uh <laughs> it's crazy because then his com his comrades are like it's not like they're almost losing faith in in gas they're like gas might be the strongest but he's losing in the skills department right now so it was kind of just directly answering the whole you know idea that they were bringing up last chapter where you know it's like the experience part like yeah they could have he could be the strongest but he's not used to it yet type shit right so they're hitting us with the with the typical stuff first obviously they go right back into it though they're still trading blows they're still fighting um gas points out that he could track his every move now and that's when even vegeta notices that you know gas is starting to catch on but even at that point freaking granola starts whipping out like shadow clones and i'm like did, did he was he always able to do that i like don't remember i don't remember seeing it but i mean you know if you make that wish you can just get every power at once yeah, I get, that's such a, I don't know, man. That's such a weird, like, that's such a whack way to, like, just know everything now. Like, 
Wish for yourself to be the strongest in the universe, which in Dragon Ball, that translates to you can do every move too. Like, I don't like, I don't know. Like to me, that's like really weird. Don't you think? Yeah. So he's doing that, right? He's, he's doing Shadow Clone Jutsu from a series that's not even a part of Dragon Ball, right? He's doing some Naruto shit. He's also shooting finger guns, which is definitely Dragon Ball stuff right there. Um, but they but they constantly going back and forth. A lot of back and forth, pretty much. This is like for the first like quarter of the of the uh the, the chapter here. But the the crazy part was is like Granola, or I'm sorry, Gas was doing like he was whipping out some new shit too. He freaking he threw his hands out. And it was almost like each finger shot its own beam to like destroy every one of Granola's clones. That shot looked really cool. But even so, like, like they were just going back and forth. He managed to do a point blank shot straight to the gut to gas. Gas took the blow. He went crashing into a bunch of freaking mountains and all that. Fell, fell into some water. And then, like, that's when I was like, okay, like, what, what's going on here? Like, where, where, where's the part where the, you know, the tides turn? Because you know what's going to happen, right? So I'm just like, there's no way this dude is about to just get mopped up like this. You know, they're both the strongest in the universe, whatever, but come on. I expected more from, from gas, right? Here comes Elik. Elik is like, what's wrong? This isn't like you. And they're asking, like, why is he getting his butt whooped? And this is this is this is the start to where things go left in 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 regards to I did not see this coming. So this little headpiece that my man's wearing. He's got like the little fang designs on the front, like little tusks or teeth or whatever. Like saber tooth teeth looking. He goes, of course I did. Gas is undeniably the strongest fighter now because they were they were trying to make sure like did you, did you really wish for him to be the strongest in the universe? And Elik confirms like by a huge margin, in fact. So he goes and he rips off this dude's freaking headpiece. And all of a sudden, my man Gas turns into like Broly, pretty much. He like he his his power goes like out of control, full power. Shout out to the podcast through the freaking roof, and like, <laughs> and also funny thing is, they were talking about how this also happened forty years ago when he fought Bardock. So right, right now, present time, you know he's got the wide eyes. He's beefed up. He actually grew tusks like out of his fucking temples. So it's like a part of his look now. And I'm like, yo, this is like the Elik version of like the Ozaru stuff in a sense. That's how I understood it. But he was like completely like OD. And, and and Manito, the Namekian, he even, of course, freaking recognizes this. And he's like, I saw it with it my, with my own eyes 40 years ago. So this was this was definitely what happened back then, too. Like Bardock had him on, on the ropes and he lost himself and he turned into that. So this is like his last resort type shit. So like after, that's why I mean when I said at the at the beginning of this episode, that like from this point on, I feel like they are really coming to like that climactic finish, maybe. Because I also feel like they're trying to line it up with the release of the new movie that's coming out in April as well. You know, it would be kind of weird if they put out a film that takes place like after all this is done. And then this shit wasn't finished yet, you know. But it doesn't have anything to do with it. You're right. But, you know. It's, <laughs> it's freaking, it, it would just be kind of, it would be really weird. So my man Gas gets a, a hold of Granola and, it, yo, come on. 
They, I don't know how how anybody can't draw the, com the the comparisons to Broly, bro. This guy grabbed him by the freaking leg, started doing this shit, freaking whipping him. You're, that's that's on Broly stuff right there, Hulk stuff right there, obviously. Throws him through like a bunch of trees. He's like, dude, he freaking took this man's head, drove him into the earth, and and that which was in front of a mountain, and they ended up under and around behind the fucking mountain that's why they came up i thought that shit was crazy <laughs> and like this dude was going completely od haywire lost his mind has no control and he's just totally taking it to freaking to granola like this guy's like face is all fucking broken and here's the interesting part where i straight up was just like I can't believe they really hit us with this shit, right? So, Goku and Vegeta are asking Manito, like, how the hell did Bardock defeat this guy if he's like he's completely dismantling Granola right now? So, how did he do it, right? And here's me with my, you know, how, what I've been saying for all these years. I'm like, yo, Bardock, he's about to have some super crazy shit that we've never seen before. You know what they hit us with? My Naito says, I was unconscious. I didn't see. My man was fucking asleep. He didn't even see the outcome. So I'm just like, wow. So just to get through the chapter, we could, bring, we could come back to that. Because there's some shit I definitely want to say about this. He's beating up this man, Granola. He's charging. Like, he actually took out Vegeta, right? He had no, no control and he's just going after whoever's in front of him. Kind of like Broly. Right? After he kicks Vegeta. Because of course Vegeta's always the first one to get the fucking first hit. Right? <laughs> um, He looks over at Goku when he defends a, a punch. And instantly he has a fucking traumatic memory bank pull up in the front of his brain. And he and he sees Bardock. He sees what happened all the, the 40 years ago when they was fighting. And what's kind of weird is that it, it, this two page panel kind of implies like Bardock just handled them with like his fucking what, 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 what does he call his, his move where it's the one hand is shit. The beam. I forgot. The riot javelin. Is that it? Well, I don't this, even know. This this was this was more like an energy wave than a fucking than when he just tosses the thing. But like they make it look like this is how Gas got defeated. Like he just simply got defeated by this 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 measly shit. However, Bardock did have some aura around him, so we can talk about that too. But either way, when that happened, this guy literally, I guess, took the rest of the punch as if he got hit with what Bardock hit him with 40 years ago. But what really threw him off was just the simple fact that he looked at Goku and he was like, he thought it was Bardock and he got like fucking terrified, right? And then Elix says, go on, Gas. Remember, you swore to never lose again, right? And then, of course, in, in, in anime fashion... My man has the line going through his head, right? You know how that goes. Gohan had it. Our favorite, right? You know, a lot of characters have had that, uh, right? That moment of, uh, and they freaking just snap into whatever comes next, right? So as soon as he snapped into it, he then retained a new form with this new, with this new power that he has. He kept the tusks but the eyes his pupils came back he had the woke up type shit and then elik was like there you go and he goes my little brother is the strongest in the universe for real now and he goes annihilate those who stand in our way and there's the chapter brother Ooch, your thoughts so far immediately and then i want to get i want to get kai to hop in <laughs> I don't even know, bro. Like, I don't really, I don't know if I even really have many, many thoughts. I was kind of just listening, trying to understand. But, okay. I mean, like, 
Like the like I don't know. I just want the, like it just needs to be animated, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. So so for this chapter you were struggling to to picture it all? I mean, I'm picturing it a little bit here and there, but it's more so like like I pictured like the fighting scene possibly kind of a bit. Yeah. Um Nah. Like I can't I can't really gather too much like interesting like type of information as far as like going more in depth in this specific chapter. Like other other than like the the what you like how you described like whatever headband shit he had going on and he took it off and he he, he basically powered up or whatever like from doing that. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So like I guess you could say Broly reference maybe, but like I don't understand how that correlates like with him being now the strongest. Like unless you're telling me that headband was a fucking like a power restriction. <laughs> like It's exactly what I'm telling you. But the, but like even if that's the case they did they ever say that before? Or y'all just finding this shit out now? It's brand new information. Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like I don't know where they're gonna go from this just because I'm not really reading. But like, yeah, that's it's more of a y'all discussion <laughs> between you and Kai. Like I don't, like I don't know what other information like uh, like I could possibly think of. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. For this one, at least. Okay. So Kai, what were your thoughts on this week on uh, this month's chapter? I still think it's cool that we see uh two people supposedly from the, you know, villain side fighting each other. So that's a nice break in our typical Goku Vegeta show. Yeah. They're literally on the sidelines just watching, literally watching. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's not so bad, but I do have to say that last line, uh my little brother's the strongest in the real uh it is the strongest in the universe for real i was like shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> that got me so sick all these wishes and then even then they still have to like learn to use it this and that i'm so tired of it oh for real z's this time shut the fuck up it look he feels like they're dragging it exactly <laughs> like and just like because like that that's why i'm kind of like like I don't have a lot to say I guess about it because it seems like it's kind of the same shit as the last chapter almost like as in like they're switching between who's the the strongest in the universe quote unquote I mean mm. hey like, it's it's got to be it's consistency right Dragon Ball's got to do certain they have to have certain elements in every chapter right they got to have a good ass fight they got to have some type of flashback progression they got to have Vegeta taking a quick L it's all got to happen yeah, no, nah, but like, unfortunately, like even, even like with the little flashback that y'all that uh, Ryan mentioned, like, like the the Barduck one, it's like, it's not a lot of information, so like it doesn't, it doesn't like make it appealing to talk about it more. I think, I think that it, I think that it was, uh, it's not enough information, but at the same time, I feel like it's too much of the wrong information because the mm. fact that. Monaito said he passed out, so now we don't yeah. know. And then immediately after, they show the panel of Bardock clearly looking normal as fuck, doing some shit we've seen forever. And that's what I'm saying. That's, that's how he handled this, man. Like, yeah, first of all, like... that that wish gave gas like fucking puberty, right? <laughs> so are you telling me that when Bardock faced him, he was in that little like midget super boo muscular form? Right. That's yeah. Like, you gotta remember though, like. Like Gas wasn't the strongest in the universe back then. Exactly, he Bardock. wasn't. So but like he was still different, so, and he still had all those powers yeah. to like make weapons and shit. So like we see Bardock's clothing's cut up, maybe from a sword or something. Yeah, nah, like, so like I mean, it can make sense how Bardock defeats him back then, but if we talk about right now, like that's not happening, <laughs> just because now he's the strongest in the universe or whatever. But like. I don't know. Like, I feel like they just threw away the, like, 
a more in-depth flashback with Bardock and Gas, essentially, with with the information that was told. Exactly. So, I mean, that's why I, I think it's a little dry, this chapter, not going to cap. <laughs> They're okay. going about their typical Dragon Ball way of ruining really good opportunities. Yeah, for that. And I mean, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, I was just going to add kind of like, like, the, yeah, like what Kai said, they're low-key ruining shit, but also it's literally like a two-character dynamic right now. It's, it's Gas, and then it's the other guy's Granola. name. Granola. Uh, yeah, Granola. Like, obviously there's no Goku Vegeta kind of right now, or whoever else is there, but like it's a two it's a two character dynamic focus right now between the two of them who's the strongest in the universe it's like like that's pretty much a sum up and now like gas is is like beating him up essentially so like like it's it, it's a little different but a little more dry without goku and vichita not gonna lie <laughs> just because it's literally a back and forth type of thing and it's not and it's not like we're getting like like new new information kind of besides the fact that this this man but like took off the headband or whatever whatever the case may have and he got a huge power up to now become the strongest in the universe but other than that like i don't know what more else is there to talk about about the chapter because that's like a whole ass little key sum up well i got plenty to say I just wanted to hear what you guys yeah, yeah, thought you, first. You could try and add to the little fire. So, guess, but, yeah. the whole idea behind, like the with the last line. So the last thing that Kai said, right? The the my little brother is the strongest in the universe for real, right? I think all that really is is that the whole wish is the true power up, right? Because realistically, Gasp has been fighting with this with 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 a with a a nerf this entire time and we didn't know that because to us we just thought it was a part of his character design like you know it's just a fucking headpiece you know people wear headbands and wristbands and they wear weighted gi and we'll never know until they mention it you know what i'm saying you know like shouts to rock lee you know this guy was as fast as fuck and we didn't know he was fighting with weights on you know what i'm saying until that moment happened when i allow it guy fucking puts up the thumbs up and my man drops them shits and it, they broke the whole john you know we never knew until it happened so like this whole for real now comment is definitely just him like just kind of making a point that like now he has no bounds or no binds like because i mean you can still be the strongest in the universe by definition but that's also kind of i would think implying that that's kind of like a stack on whatever you already got and if you're not using it's like weird to even talk about because i'm also i'm almost making it sound like it's a fucking equation <laughs> you know what i'm saying like because if you're the strongest in the universe it shouldn't matter right like i totally i'm with that where like if you tell me said character is the strongest they're on some saitama shit you know what i'm saying like they don't need a power up they don't need a new transformation they don't need none of that shit all they need to do is just be there be alive and breathing and they should be able to handle whoever and whatever and that's exactly what happens I mean, man's literally one punch, boom, done. That's it, right? And he doesn't have, he doesn't fucking go super saiyan, grow hair out of his fucking bald ass head, right? That doesn't happen. So like, yeah, I, I can understand if there's any gripes with, you know, oh, he's the strongest for real now type shit. Cause that's fucking annoying. <laughs> like I, I, I totally, I totally get that. But with how they write this, this is how I'm understanding it. They're treating it like, yeah, he still needs to get used to it and it's brand new and da da da, the usual Dragon Ball kind of stuff that they like to throw at us. But this man was fighting with locks on, essentially. And now the, the chains are off, literally, right? Now, then that goes into the whole 
backstory thing because like i was i've been saying i'm i've been waiting to to truly see uh an actual like maybe even a, a most of the chapter dedicated just to see how that fight went down how did bardock truly handle himself because how could a low class warrior that's how that's what he was known as back in the day handle himself against a dude like this who's this strong where back then even gas had this like rage form right however he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't have or he at least we didn't see it he didn't pull out the form that he's got now see now this is like this all ties to, this all connects to essentially what i'm also getting at too is that this is his perfect form this yeah this is his perfect form right here pretty that's a that's a great way to put it boom this is his perfect freaking form on some cell shit some frieza whatever you want to relate it to but this what this also is this is literally a look into the fucking future this is preemptive this is this is like how when the broly film was announced next thing you know they're announcing for a limited time you could watch the first movie bardock and fusion reborn all in theaters before the the actual movie came out they were priming us they were priming us they wanted people to go rewatch those uh, movies in theaters why because they wanted us to fucking remember bardock they wanted us to remember Gogeta happened outside of GT, even if it was for like 30 seconds. And by the time you go see the movie, all those things come together in that film. What's happening right here is no different. All this shit with ever since, it's funny, bro, back to Broly, ever since that, that movie happened and we saw this dude whip out some shit that no one's ever really done before. And I've been saying, I'm like, yo, this guy is going to be the one. He's going to be that Super Saiyan 4 archetype guy. Now I look at this, now I look at this character, completely different race. And it's almost identical. You know, they don't have to worry about tails or, you know, as far as we know. But, you know, I mean, this is just a low key. This is like another uh, animal themed kind of shit we got going on. Because the Saiyans obviously based off the fucking monkeys. These dudes might be elephant people, for all we know. They just don't got the big tusks, but they have the fucking... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or they could... They, you know, it doesn't matter. They could be, like, you know, based off of, like, saber tooths or any anything with big fangs. I just thought, those, I just said tusks because that was the first things that... They, they, they really do kind of look like, you know, like elephant tusks, right? Or, like, or, you know, not like... I might be wording it wrong, but you guys know what I'm trying to say. Like, the pointy jaws, like, their fangs or whatever, you know? So I'm looking at this and I'm literally just seeing it happen all before my eyes. They're really, they're really getting us ready for, for this Broly come up when they find, when they, when they finally get back around to him, like all these, all this, all this shit that's, that they've been going through after post Broly, they're going to just go, Goku's going to go right, right to this guy and be like, man, you'll never believe what I fucking just had to go through. There's some dudes that are like you. And I think I know what to do to help your ass out. And bro is going to be the guy. He's going to be that next enraged, full power, out of control character who has like a, a seamless or, or seemingly endless overflowing amount of power that he's eventually going to be able to maintain control. And he would. And I'm telling you, he's going to be the one. And this is the first great glance first look at what that could be and they're, they're getting us ready for it you know that you know i'm maybe it maybe won't happen the next arc after this but that's that's what that's how i feel about the, this whole uh uh gas situation right now you see i don't even know <laughs> If I'm comfortable with them even letting Broly control his full power, <laughs> because that could easily they could easily debunk him, like as a character. 
okay wait so let me understand so you're saying okay i know what i know what you're you don't want because them this is anime we're talking yeah about. You... this is like this is like hulk i i knew this is exactly what i was gonna say you don't want them to mcu hulk broly exactly <laughs> because because let me tell you something if, if this mother if, if this guy right that we've watched for years doing the same shit out of control strong as shit blah 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 like it it, it would be cool to actually see him you know control all what he got but for some reason in the anime world once when when somebody that has all this type of power and then they're eventually able to control it it's like they don't it's like it it's a there's a limit now mm. so it's not even like it's not even like they're able to access more of that you know what i mean because they're not out of control no more when apparently i guess in anime world when you're out of control that just means like you just get unlimited types of power <laughs> Whether like throughout the fucking course of the fight, blah blah blah, or whatever the case may be, and when you and when you're able to actually control it, it's like there's a cap now, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Cause it, especially like if we're just taking it in Dragon Ball terms, <laughs> in a Broly perspective, like it would obviously make sense for him to, like if he were to be able to control his power, that he would be able to up his power kind of whenever he wanted to if he needed the extra strength right <laughs> since he has like like what excess power yeah i mean his power is just he has so much of it that it just kind of it seeps out of him pretty much you know like yeah so that's what i'm saying like basically basically what i'm coming in coming like what I'm, I'm trying to say i guess is like like think of a bottle right uh think of, think of, put what well, he's a bottle reference kind of yeah once this nigga is able to control, look, 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 look. <laughs> this is his anger. No, no bottle cap no more, right? No bottle cap. <laughs> now it's open, it's seeping, like you just said. Yeah. All this, all this extra energy, right? Once he's able to control it, it there's, there's some type of cap. Mm. Like, and unless we're trying to make this make sense, then like, if he's able to control it, right? Technically, he should be able to kind of open the open the cap like kind of whenever he wants to get that that's what i'm trying to say but knowing the dragon knowing anime fashion <laughs> that's not gonna that would not be the case he would not be able to just like open the bottle cap whenever he wants to get more power blah 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 and still be able to control it all like i don't know but and then that's when that's when mcu hulk happens where they just like you know he's 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 not he's now stuck at a limit and then I mean, knowing Dragon Ball, I mean, Goku's going to be stronger than him, and et cetera, et cetera, you know. <laughs> Ty, you got anything to add to that? <laughs> nope. He, know, he nailed it. All right, so I got something for both of y'all. So, beautifully explained. That's a very good analogy. But what if... What if instead of them putting a cap on him, what if he just learns to expand his bottle? Oh. What do you mean? What do I mean? So take 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 your explanation. You have a, you know, your bottle, right? It's full of energy. And when it's unleashed, it's going, you know, it's it's obviously going through it. There's no cap, blah blah blah, right? That same thought process. But instead of instead of just capping it and sealing it to where He's almost like, you know, nerfed in a sense to be in a more controlled state. What if you take what's already formed, established, and you expand it? So you still have control, but you can simply access your unlimited potential at will. That's, that's what we want. That's what we need because we can't have MCU Hulk happen. Definitely not. I got Cause... news for you. <laughs> I'm waiting. That's it. Nope, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to say shit. I was waiting for it. I was literally like, yeah. Nah, bro. It's like, 
when shit like this happens, bro, with these types of characters, and like, like we we obviously would like to see him be able to control his unlimited potential or unlimited power, as we see or say, but it, it's so easily like it like it's so like it's so easy to to just make little of it as, and what i mean by that is basically like a cap like like there i don't know one nigga in anime <laughs> that is able to control their unlimited power from like like um what should i call it like their unlimited power as like the, their unlimited power source mm. just just from them like being outraged like in an outrage and everything like that. like like the per the character that always has like an outrage to get their unlimited Wait. power seems to always be low-key stronger than when they're able to control it and you know you know who i think did it you know who, who i think cracked that formula yeah. goku black really mm. he got so far as to rip a hole in, a, in the dimension just the same and that was controlled rage he was completely himself mm. okay shit i don't know <laughs> like like i'm a, i'll take it as far as like like think about I don't even know who to, who to who to reference it from, but like think about think about like your average character, right? Like, and this is like just outside perspective, like even outside of Dragon Ball. Like, think about your average character. Don't doesn't matter what type of rage they have, whether it's from themselves or whether it's from like a devil within them. Shout out Black Clover, or uh, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> shout out Black Clover, right. or or uh, a Hollow. Shout out. Shout out Bleach, Shout out Bleach. you know what I mean? Shout out, or a Fox. Shout out, you know, good old Naruto, you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, so like, you 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 know you realize whenever these characters are in their full rage, they get like this unlimited power. Sometimes but it seems when, like it though, but it's not really. It, se it seems like it, I guess. But at the end of the day, when they're able to control it, like, I don't know. I feel I feel I feel it's a little different. Nah, it's like so those examples you 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 made like and I and I obviously know the Naruto one all too well, okay? Cuz the second you say my man Mr. Uzumaki Naruto, the first thing I that definitely came to mind on this topic of like out of control like unlimited kind of power potential ca type characters was when remember when he went four tails and everyone thought that shit was fucking OD? Yeah. Clearly he had that he had five left, right? Cuz he was out of control. Right. <laughs> but see when he finally when he finally came to and was able to maintain it Naruto became godlike. Like straight up. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's arguable depending on the character, right? Because it seems like this is just from what I have realized like within the the three I mentioned, I guess thus far, it's like Naruto, nigga is obviously strong as fuck. Especially, but I think what makes characters like that strong as fuck is the fact that, especially if they have like something inside yeah. them, like to give them extra power, whether it's the fox, yeah, demon, yeah, yeah. devil, whatever, is the bond that they are able to connect with them that's what allows them to unleash like their their max max potential power whatever however you want to say yeah man yeah i mean anime but, like, always has that but i mean as far as like super goes like broly don't got none of that shit it's just him so like really uh wait you're gonna say i, was, I guess i'm sorry I no, no, but, no 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 i'm just saying like because all of this relates because he he I mean, the, all the Saiyans have their their monkey stage, but I'm I'm more I'm more or less trying to call out because you you mentioned that these characters they have like you know these like connections and bonds. It's 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 the bonds of the relationships that help them get to another level. 
And in Broly's case, mm. his dad got got by Frieza as an experiment, and he fucking went Super Saiyan. But he didn't control it. That's why I'm, we're, we're, I'm, I'm more so diversifying to the to the controlled state. Okay. Like, like being controlled and having access to your unlimited power type of thing. Like, like, but, but, and, and, like, this is, this is towards, like, the three characters I mentioned before. Like, Naruto, Ichigo, and, I guess, Asta, Asta. Black Clover. Like, and we're still, and, and Black Clover's still going, but that shit, that shit's getting, and that's you haven't even seen what happened right to Dana Bleach, so come on now. <laughs> come on now. Nah, nah, but, I mean, what's interesting about Bleach, though, sidetrack, I guess, he had to, fight his own fucking yeah like hollow form to get the unlimited power that, that shit was his crazy max potential. i forgot about that you see <laughs> you see what i mean so i mean there's different there's different aspects of attaining your max potential here broly on the other hand like i don't know well because okay. like it's not it's not like he literally like had like because this is the one thing that kind of diversifies like like dragon ball from all these animes is is like like goku like all like the sands they have the ozawa right but like we've never seen the ozara within the character like like you know like kind of talking to them like whether like oh yeah no that's yeah it's not a separate like this, is, this is yeah no. yeah that's what i'm talking about here so like so it's kind of it's kind of hard to i guess understand <laughs> like if broly was able to i guess like be conscious etc like within his his unlimited power or whatever like 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 will we see it as him being weaker or will he actually have unlimited like his his unlimited power like being able to be tapped whenever he kind of wants to type of thing and that's the thing that's the scary part. Because if he can't, then I don't want it. Because <laughs> if he can't, then I don't want so, it. So the thing that I wanted to add when you were talking about how all the examples like with Asta uh, and Ichigo and Naruto. And they've all had like that thing within them that has helped them unlock some kind of unlimited, seemingly unlimited power source. But what real what, what it really is that you have to understand is that and you have to you have to you have to kind of use the term like power scaling and I hate and I hate that because then you know people might get the wrong idea and be like oh you're trying to talk about power levels now no I'm not I'm just trying to literally use that as a, just a term to explain that when you have your characters whether they're the the good guys or the bad guys and they have access to some sort of power you know point plain and simple whether it's a demon or whatever what what happens is yeah they get a crazy boost but it's whoever they're fighting that kind of sets the scale a little bit because then you have to realize like think think to Naruto really quick because that's the easiest I can I can really reference since it's finished or well, his story's finished. Is like think to the war. My man literally had like the whole sage shit going for him, right? But if he was fighting Zabuza, for example, they people would think like, yo. Naruto is he has unlimited power because he would make Zabuza look free. But they were fighting fucking mm. Madara and Kaguya. You know, like these were and Kaguya especially, she is one to really be noted because her 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 level of strength far exceeds probably basic human understanding in that in that world. Because yeah, like her chakra was fucking insane. right. Because <laughs> she, her, her, her race is what is basically what started all this chakra mess in the first place. That's a whole different thing. Like 
the Otsutsukis, they're not even, they, they, these are the aliens of the Naruto universe. And so it took, it took Sasuke and Naruto to be on some sage level shit to just beat her. But if they, like I said, if you put them, put them up against anyone less than that, then it would have just been like, it would have really made them look like they were, you know, they all like they were Superman. But no, that's not, that's not the case at all. Because you have to also, you also have to pay mind to who, who they're trying to fight against. So, I mean, when it comes to, cause like, that's why I'm saying like, I don't think all of those powers that you mentioned were ever like unlimited. I don't think that at all. I just think that they were so strong and so high up there that it looks, it, it comes off like that maybe, but it's not like that. You see, I don't even, I don't even think that there is such a thing as unlimited power, honestly. Yeah. So I don't even know how I was saying that in the first place, honestly, but like, <laughs> I mean that the only reason that shit comes up as like, from like a dragon ball perspective really i guess is because of like broly for, like, because like like nigga gets stronger every every time he fights or during the fight so it's like that's why the unlimited power reference i guess comes into play but, right but yeah so like oh I, I don't know i don't know what to think about a controlled broly because <laughs> they could either fuck it up or it can actually work out it's it, it would either be one or the other yeah. Hopefully they wouldn't fuck it up though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I, I knew exactly where you were gonna go with that because I know how we feel about Hulk. I know how you feel about Hulk. And I and li trust me, I think I'm a bigger Broly fan than I am for fucking Hulk. And if I had if I had to see my man's go through that shit after literally being written into the actual main canon story of everything, like he's the only guy. He's the only only dude out of all the other movie characters that they could have fucking went to they could have they could have went to cooler first they could have did uh janemba they could have did freaking uh what's this guy um uh the other freaking green dude that gohan destroyed after cell um bojack, bojack. they could have did any of these guys <laughs> yeah, but they went with broly and for them to i oh for them to freaking go as far as they did, make that movie as godlike as it was, to then years later they get back around to him and they're just gonna fucking Bruce Banner this fucking guy, nah. And what <laughs> makes you think that's not exactly what they'll do? They already did it to Kale. Nah. Bruh. What? What do you mean they did it to Kale? Yes, they fucking did. They did it to Kale because if you think for a hot second that they didn't, let me remind you that Please. when this bitch went berserk in the T.O.P., yeah. it took a Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha to the face, you know, homage tribute, right. and she literally didn't give a fuck. She just didn't flinch nothing, grabbed him, started doing the Broly shit, smacking him around. All of a sudden, she gets control of that power. Now it's her mm. and Caulifla against a red finger shooting Goku. Get out of here. <laughs> yo. Mm. Mm. Nah, but, you see what I mean, oh, but okay, okay, but yo. You see, you see, and then they it's fused. Not, it's not, right? There's something about it, bro. There's something about being out of enrage, and there's a, there's, there's something about being controlled. Because I think, yeah. That's what like, I'm saying. I don't know, I think the only I don't know one to what do it is. so far is black. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Like, is it is it the fact that these motherfuckers are conscious and and they have to think about what they're doing type of thing and when they're out? Like, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Because like that's definitely a part of it. Because think about think because like wait hold on, hold on. Let, me, let me just say one more thing. Because like when you when I guess when you're in rage like you honestly don't give a fuck right <laughs> especially about your surroundings right so. I mean, I guess it allows them to go all out. I guess exactly. I'll say quote unquote. I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like that shit just pisses me off, though. Cause like, but, but you can't. But like, even when I say that, though, when we go back to Khalifa, right? Mm. The like the whether they was she was in rage or not or controlled, like she they she shouldn't even have to care about her her surroundings because they were in the tournament 
Well, I mean, I mean... She can't kill anyone, and she has teammates. Well, yeah, that was a rule. They wasn't allowed to. Because if they did, right. that would have been a DQ. Well, true, 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 true. Right? So, I mean, like... Kale, I mean, if you want to talk about Kale for a second, like, yeah, she was the first, she, she was the first glimpse of, you know, Broly all together, right? Basically had the same mannerisms, the same type of shit. And then she had a moment, obviously, where she lost it. Because that's what that's just what happens with these characters, you know. When characters that are known to just be ballistic, there's always that snapping point, and then boom, they snap, they go crazy, and then depending on you know who it is, and you know how far along they are, because just because Kale is very identical to Broly doesn't mean that she's anywhere near that type of fucking power. I'll tell you this right now. Kale is not is not gonna be a problem for Broly if they ever went at it. I'll tell you okay, that right okay, now. Okay, okay, okay. We're we're not dis we're not discussing the two of them going oh, head to head. Okay. We're dis we're discussing nah. the fact that she got MCU'd and he's next. No, but he but see that's what, that's what I'm also trying to say. She didn't get MCU'd at all. She literally just she had her 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 fucking companion, her partner right there the entire time to that she like you know wanted her attention looked up to her all types of you know whatever type shit and and then uh Kalifla, right she helped her snap out of it to be in a more controlled state so that way you know but she could be con conscious it doesn't matter though the controlled state got nerfed because she was handling she was manhandling blue when she was berserk and then she could barely 2v1 against red. Well, that shit, like, low key is crazy. But there, but. Because, like. I don't know. But there's, like, there's, there's explanation behind that, though, too. Because, like, just how Brandon said, like, characters that are enraged, they have no care for how they fucking fight, for how they carry themselves, and for how they do anything. When you the second you regain consciousness, you're now thinking. That's the that's the difference, bro. You think Broly was thinking? He was literally monkey see monkey do everything that he was watching Goku and Vegeta do. He was just doing it right then on the spot, and then it kept getting worse because then they kept pushing this guy, and and we saw what happened with with Kale Califla. I mean, think about all the shit that happened during the T.O.P. And it was all within a 45 fucking minute margin. Like, this guy Goku did Ultra Instinct fucking twice. Like, second time mastered it. What, in five minutes? Like, you know how bullshit that was. And so then, with this, it's like, yeah, she, gave, she was able to snap out of it. Therefore, started, she was now trying to apply thought. And trying to make sure that she's abiding by the fucking rules type shit. Because, yeah, in a sense, like, but th th that kind of even goes back to, not even goes back to, but this kind of brings up just the, the, the simple base concept of, like, good guys and bad guys. Like, good, good guys, right, all have mor morale. They go, they listen and follow rules because they are, they believe in that this is how you should live to to attain some sort of peace in your everyday life bad guys they'll steal they'll fucking like perform acts that you're not really supposed to do commit crimes you know like cause fucking um like disturbances among in like public places whether it's online or in person like they'll just go out of their way to do some shit that you know any normal person that's just trying to like exist and stay in their lane these people are in they're fucking cutting people off they're not in any lane they're constantly fucking swerving in and out blah 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 i mean it's like it conceptually it's like the same thing it's like people that are are are, are by nature good 
they're not going to do a lot of the shit that that bad people are known to do like that is like the fine line between it so like when it comes down to characters that are so out of control versus when those same characters have control the difference lies within how they're thinking characters like broly broly you thought you thought he thought uh, he thought one time fuck no Kale, when she was going crazy, she wasn't thinking either. That's why she was able to, without hesitation, that's the thing, without hesitation, as soon as you start having a, a conscious anything, now you have to, now that's when, the, that's when the training and all that shit really comes into play. That's when it starts to matter because you have to now learn how to think, how to like make decisions when you're in control. There's a, there's a huge difference. And it, okay. it, it, but can you do you not think that that helps our point though because in my eyes i would see the need to go out of your way to process all that you know all those thoughts and everything in the middle of combat that restraint that it's gonna put on you and slow you the fuck down that's a nerf if you didn't have to worry about that when you were in rage and you were a lot stronger and going buck wild, like, yeah, I get it. It's a lot harder because you're trying to control it. But if you can't, it's like you said earlier with that bottle analogy, if you can't expand the bottle, if you're keeping it capped, then <laughs> that's it. Yeah, well, I mean, but they got to they get that's what that's what I'm also saying. They got to learn one person that's done that. They haven't even got to that part yet. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I mean, you, <laughs> you could talk, you could, you could say Gohan. <laughs> No, I would say nah. Goku over anybody, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, I mean, because that, that's the thing about Goku. Like, this is, like Goku, nigga can go, Goku's nigga, bottle doesn't get bigger. He just breaks it and then he just makes a new one. It, yeah, essentially. Just because, like, he can go, he can be in rage for, like, a session or whatever, I'll say. And then, like one whatever whatever makes him break out of it he breaks out of it but then like when he realizes that what he just did he was like oh shit i guess it's like a new power up i'll just say for now like he'll he'll eventually tap back into that but then he'll aim to be controlled but then i feel like being controlled like in a controlled state like ryan said you got to worry about all these things but also i think to add on i think you you have to to understand like power management I'll, <laughs> I'll say because like now you understand you understand how much like i guess um what's the, how am i trying to put it like like how much damage it does to your body i guess like, i know there's another word i'm trying to think of but but that's that's pretty much what it like a new power up does like it it reduces like your stamina etc cetera, etc cetera. so unless you're in rage I don't think when you're in rage you you like you understand any of that like you're just you're you don't care about how much damage you're doing to your body you're just fucking going full force essentially like if you guys kind of understand where i'm going with that a little bit i mean <clears throat> i just i what it really comes down to is i really think that as long as it's done right and they're given the actual fair amount of time because even with the examples that we had with you know bringing up kale and stuff i mean think about how much time we actually had she she had like on screen you know and the same with broly now that he's brand new into this shit i mean he he it's crazy because you could even argue kale maybe have ha maybe had more opportunities to train and fight than broly ever did because broly only ever had his dad and 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 we already know how that went because fucking paragus ain't shit you know for freaking broly you know what i'm saying like you know i just think that if they're able to properly train then i i think that there is every bit of right to to you know just even hope that they're able to freaking maintain what we love about them the most but you know they'll actually have a better uh, idea of what they're doing themselves so 
Yeah. Yeah. That, that's all I got. <laughs> Word. All right. So, Kai, is there anything else you want to add before we? Uh, I look at some of these comments from uh, last episode. Uh, no, I'm good. All right. All right. So, <laughs> last week. Brother Ooch was uh, really ripping apart people's fucking top fives. <laughs> yeah, what they gotta fucking say, man. Honestly, Jeez. no one even tried challenging you. Like, had they no, no one said anything against what you said. They didn't leave. We only had a few comments this this time around. Uh, one Are of you challenged. Yeah, like I mean, like Shit. no, like, dude, you was really shitting on people's fucking anime. <laughs> well, I mean, when when you have a fucking. <laughs> Gabagoo in there, bro. Like, <laughs> really, like nah, it's not. I don't know. Nah, but continue, I guess. So, aside from the top fives, we also did talk about like what makes you know villains good villains and whatnot. Um, this person says that uh, they 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 love having this conversation with their friends. Um, I think to me, a villain needs to be a couple things. For me, establish a constant threat of danger, apply pressure to the protagonist, and put our main heroes in irreversible situations the reasonings for villains can be super relatable and grounded or as basic as wanting to be the strongest or ruler of worlds villains should have a presence and quite honestly push the story and characters in the story make me feel sick when they are on screen frame one hmm so i thought that was a really well put uh comment yeah, uh, got a little point yep okay um this person just says they should win when their philosophy is superior to the protagonist true very true no bullshit dubs <laughs> <laughs> essentially yeah. <laughs> yeah um this person says my favorite anime is the seven seven deadly sins i really want another season at least the animation was very bad they could have done way better did you ever watch that one I heard of it though. I seen it. I see in a country. I'm pretty sure, but I don't know if I gave it a shot. Or not. It's really good. It just gets progressively worse. Ugh. <laughs> when it done? Mm. Yo, you know a funny story? Mm. I had a dude tell me like, and he was dead ass, head ass. Okay. This guy was swearing up and down, trying to convince me that the seven deadly sins was like a part of like a big uh, this big three that he was imagining no <laughs> bro it was roll. it was really good in its time but absolutely not <laughs> listen i'm gonna tell you like this for those that don't know that are, might be watching or listening there is no other big three okay there's only one People want to, you know, try to, you know, everyone wants to make themselves feel included and shit. I get it. There's always a time and place to sit the fuck down. And this is the time. Okay. No, I'm serious. Like, you know, I mean that with all, all love. Okay. Because we've, we've all been like, like all of us have been at a point in our lives where, you know, we thought certain things that were obviously wrong. And that's what, you know, adults were there for. That's what, you know, people that were older with, you know, more experience and actual backing to support whatever it is that they're trying to, like, kind of, you know, not just put on to, you know, the little ones, but like, you know, like, I don't know. To the most stupid example could just be like, I used to think that, uh, that, 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 that whatever it was, was good for whatever fucking reason or it was as 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 great as all this other shit that is clearly better right i'm obviously going to be told otherwise and then it's only it's only until i get to a certain maturity level that i'll be like oh damn they were right right this shit like even now i mean people like to throw around this big three conversation like oh who's the big three nowadays like there is none you have all your individual fucking shows. Everyone's trying to do their own thing. Okay? Because 
the big three and the shit that came before it it established what you guys are literally fucking like we we all had to crawl so that y'all could fucking run and fly in the in your fucking demon slayer uh graphics you <laughs> motherfucker. you see yeah, yeah yeah so here's what i'll say about the whole big three shit like people people might be more so asking about maybe the generational big three like in in regards to anime but here's what i'll say i'll say i'll say there is the big three the, obviously the, the only big three. the period and then and then after that it's done there, it's really it's really just about your top who what what's your top three anime? no i think that's what con people confuse themselves about because because we all know what the big three is but people don't know that shit they just go off of their top three animes i think nah, nah, and nah. they and then and then that's what they say that the big three is or some bullshit <laughs> but no listen if you're a fucking real one you you already know you don't have to watch any of the shits you just have to know big three see, i don't even is three is three like, anime and that's it anything that happens after that even, shit yeah they look, look, look here, here here's the funny thing right here's the funny thing naruto bleach one piece done right you want to know what else was god like around that time full metal alchemist brotherhood is to this day known as one of the best anime period probably top 10 it's no it's realistically brandon it's in a lot of people's top ones believe it or not and i hey, yo as a stretch no it's, i'm telling you i'm telling you this is a fact Okay, I might not fully agree. I still think Full Metal Alchemist is one of the best ones, but I'm just saying sure. that is a fact. Then, shortly thereafter, like not even not shortly thereafter, but like around there, look what else? Death Note. Yeah, it's not top, it's not number one though. Then <laughs> fast forward. Yeah. Then you got shit like Soul Eater. Then you got shit like then you got shit like a your Akage got a Kame got kill. Then you have fire. um oh shit, what was the fucking other one? The believe in you that believes in me. I freaking watched it like two summers ago. <laughs> Gurin Lagan. Gurin La fucking God. Have you watched that one? Kai, have you seen that one? No. Nah. Okay. This anime, okay, easily 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 up there but my point that i'm bringing up all these out of all these shows right is that they were so good in their own right they 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 established their fucking godliness amongst and and, and their populace across all types of anime fans and whatnot now it should be treated the same way with everything that's current, Demon Slayer, Jujutsu, Boruto, Black Clover, My Hero, all these fucking shows, Chainsaw Man's about to be added to that list, Dr. Stone, you know, all these shows, they are all great for what they are delivering to the people, to the anime community, but motherfuckers gotta stop with this whole big three this, big three that, There's, there is no big three. You know where the big three term comes from? Why was Bleach and One Piece and Naruto even in that, that term? It was because back in the day, they was banking the most in manga sales. They was killing the game back in the day. Nowadays, my hero's killing it. I'm sure Black Clover's killing it. I'm sure Jujutsu's fucking killing it. Demon Slayer killed it. It's done. You know, I'm saying it kill, not killing it because it's finished, right? But they're not they're they're not on some big three type shit because they're now in a in a point in time where like anime is so widely accepted now, and and way more like it's way more accepted. It's way easier to access as well, like. These kids nowadays, they don't fucking know what it was like. You know what I'm saying? Like growing up a reject. <laughs> fuck yeah, bro. Like you know, we had to we had to walk around almost hiding this shit. You know, like yeah. 
<laughs> you know, you had like your certain friends that you could, you you know, you talk to on the side, but then a certain person comes, walks by, conversation's over. Anime right. wasn't even fucking mm. cool back in the day. Now it's it's something that people just, they, they you know, they just they do it for the trends. That's it. That's infuriating. It's very Some fucking infuriating. Shit on it, so that's why people still don't like it. <laughs> oh, yo, yeah, people still don't that's like okay, it. That's okay though, dude. It's way I guess different it's okay, now. But it's 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 still weird. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not saying it's not weird, but you know, like, everyone's entitled to their opinion. I just yeah. I just hate you know I hate the niggas that definitely hated on that, and now they're jumping on the bandwagon. Absolutely, version. it's like you know, nah, oh, you see Attack like, on Titan? Like, what you talking about? I don't understand like how people how how people can't like it though because like there's so many different types of animes whether whether you an action person or you you like you somebody that like needs to be fucking mind fucked and shit like that you know like with the with with the with storyline characters whatever the case may be like like there ha there there's got to be like that one anime or something like that that you would actually fuck with on the low or not even on the low but like you know like that then you could say like you actually kind of like anime type of thing and those are for the people that like just i feel like the people that don't like anime like i don't, I don't even know bro like, like they, they they just missing out or some shit bro like i feel i feel like maybe somebody just didn't put them in the right direction Brandon. <laughs> as far as as far as sh watching a certain show or some shit like that i can literally answer that for you as, it, it, as, as simple as this a lot of people probably look at anime as how it's presented as a cartoon in, Jap yeah. in japan yeah. that's what they're that anime is a japanese cartoon that's that is what it is so a lot of people when they see a cartoon they're just like oh Kitchen, they probably. exactly they 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 knock it off they pass it off as something like they have a mental block already set for it those are what we call ignorant fucks right they just don't know because Preach. they they see it as one thing when realistically it's a lot more than what it actually is than a kid show but now but here now here now i'm gonna bring it home for you what you just said applies to you because all i gotta do just like you said oh it was done. he just wasn't steered in the right direction we can steer you in the right direction you're not gonna fucking take the wheel you're gonna sit in that goddamn passenger seat with the recliner with your feet out hanging out the window chilling not by you're not paying no attention i will show you anything that is that looks old or that is before a certain time and you'll and, and and guess what your mental block is cut off you won't give it a chance even if it is anime or a cartoon or you have a block so you're not like you're not like the ignorant fucks but when it comes to the anime you're one of the Animation. ignorant anime fucks <laughs> you see you see that that's its own thing and that's like that's more understandable like as long as you f can like you you kind of fuck with anime or whatever the case may be you find your shows like that's cool and like the anime style that you like that's how i look at it at least because like i guess i can understand certain people's perspective as far as like what what the eye can can watch <laughs> because because that's a thing bro that's a thing like like because some people literally like they can't go back to naruto type of thing or like maybe even bleach or some shit like to the very first episode because of the anime style even though it honestly wasn't like that's that's what we like grew that's up quite, that's so, what you call like, bougie that is that is what yeah, being bougie yeah. is yeah so like those type of niggas will need like the current type of and that's that's niggas, crazy the current type i of hate shit. that shit and that's because it's upgraded obviously it looks clean as fuck so like you know i mean it it is what it is but like that's where the separation happens a little bit right yeah but i mean yeah man fucking shit <laughs> um uh, let me see there's more shit more questions whatever i'm taking a quick peek because uh 
Yeah, people had comments on the chapter itself. Um. Oh, okay. I won't read all of them because there's a lot more on this one, and we're obviously running out of time here. Um. But uh, there is one thing I did want to bring up that uh one of our regulars uh definitely i literally forgot almost forgot to bring this up he says if you go back to the bardock flashback of the chapter you will see that bardock has no tail anymore and i don't think it's an error by toyotaro because the tail was the reason granola freaked out and the heaters found them all bardock might have channeled the grade eight powers like broly did in the movie I really hope the after, I really hope after the arc's climax occurs and the arc ends, we cut to the flashback and they give us the whole fight. I hope they give us the whole fight too. But yeah, the whole thing with with Bardock not having his fucking tail there in that shot is actually pretty fuck. It's a big deal. So yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he did fucking. Maybe he did use it in in somehow snapped back out of it or i don't know but did he didn't he have a, his tail when he went for frieza i don't even remember, I, oh no like, well in yeah no 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 in the broly movie he definitely had it yeah 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 so it probably it, yeah it probably it, well it probably wasn't in the shot it probably you, you know how it grows back or whatever you know like like but goku's never grew back well, no, because she does never yeah, because they because they cut their shit in a in a in a certain way though, right? Like because the, isn't no, w no. wasn't the original Dragon Ball Z way? You just like you you just have to slice this shit, and then you know yeah, they they just sliced it, but they, it never grew back. Yeah, like they didn't literally they didn't literally cut the entire tail off. They cut like a portion of it off. Oh well, I mean. I don't you know, could call that a plot happened. hole then i guess because fucking i don't know because yo it's so crazy <laughs> i haven't watched i haven't fucking i haven't rewatched dbz in fucking so many years like i'd have to go back and actually watch it probably reading it is a lot easier but um oh yeah i totally for you know i'd have to try to go back and see exactly how that shit went But, um, any thoughts on that, Kai? No, not really. Okay. I think he has his tail. Okay. We're, we'll have to see what happens with that shit. Because, yeah, like I said, I am very uh, hopeful that we still get to see more of what happened back then 40 years ago. Because, man, that fucking show us more, goddammit, please. But anyway, I believe that's going to be it for us for this, uh... This week's episode of Full Power Podcast, guys. Brother Uji, you got anything for the people? Nah, stay safe. Stay humble, you know. Keep working. Keep working Good on vibes. the top fives. Right, right. <laughs> Stop fucking top three conversation, okay? Just just don't do it. <laughs> um, but anyways, with all that... You already know what the email is, fullpowerpod at gmail.com. Submit your questions, comments, concerns, and possible future topic ideas. Um, make sure that you are commenting under the YouTube channel version. Make sure you're answering the polls on the Spotify version. Because any feedback is better than no feedback. So... Of course, as always, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked with right here on this podcast. Stay clean, stay fresh, and stay the hell inside, guys. We'll see y'all next time.